Okay, so in this talk we are going to consider a separable differential equation where where there's a, a solution which is stationary for part of the domain and uh, and it's moving for part of the domain. So let's look at the equation. This is actually an autonomous differential equation, so I'll use the notation for autonomous where the independent variable is denoted t. The equation dx dt is square root 1 minus x squared. Okay, let's begin by finding the pure stationary solutions. What are the stationary solutions? That's the ones where it's a constant function. Hmm? S1 and x1. Yeah, x is 1 and x is minus 1. So far so good. Okay, x is 1 and x is minus 1. Okay. Good. Now let's try to find the, the general solution, the one you do by integration. So general solution. So you rearrange, what do you get? Integral. Hmm? One over hmm? square root one minus x square dx is integral dt. So when you integrate, what's the integral of this side? Hmm? Uh, axon is d plus c. So we get x is sine of t plus c, but there is a constraint. What's the constraint? Well, uh, t plus c is in next you pi over 2 and pi over 2. Yeah, well we could do the closed interval actually at the boundary points there's a little issue we'll come to later but for now let's just keep it like that. So which means that uh, which is the same as saying t is in uh, minus c minus pi over 2 to minus c plus pi over 2. There's a little issue about the boundary points but it's okay to extend it continuously to the boundary. Okay, so we have actually so x is sine t plus c so for any c in R, we have a solution, c is in R. For any fixed c, you have a solution where x is sine of t plus c, okay? And that solution is valid in a closed interval. Now what happens beyond minus c plus pi over 2? What happens uh, beyond this endpoint? What does the function look like? Hmm? Uh, it repeats. Well, think about it like this. So this function, the derivative of the function is square root 1 minus x. Let's make a couple of observations. So first of all, note x has to remain in what interval? For the right side to make sense, x has to be in what interval? Negative 1 and 1. Okay, good. For square root 1 minus x square root exist. Okay, good. And what can you say about dx dt, the sine of dx dt? Well, it's, a, it's greater than or equal to 0 for all x, for all t. Okay, so it's it's a non-decreasing function, it could be constant increasing order, but it's, it doesn't go down, okay, and it takes values between minus 1 and 1. Now, what is the value at minus c plus pi over 2? So, At minus c plus pi over 2, what is x? Hmm? x is 0. It's sine minus of one. 1. Okay. Now, x has to remain between minus 1 and 1. So it cannot go up further, right? Mm -hmm. Beyond this point. Can it go down after this point? Yeah. It can, but I thought the derivative is always greater than equal to zero. Oh, so it will remain constant. Okay, so x is one for t greater than or equal to minus c plus pi over two. Okay, and at t equals minus c minus pi over two, what is x? Negative one. So what 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 can it be for for earlier times? Earlier time? Yeah, well, it has to remain between minus 1 and 1. Oh. 
It's still it's constant. It has to remain negative one, right? It cannot go it couldn't have been smaller because it has to be in here. But it couldn't have been larger because it's a non-decreasing function, right? Mm -hmm. So x is minus one minus one for t here. Okay. So now we can write the piecewise solution. So let's write it down. What is the solution? In, for a, for, in terms of C, what is the solution? So it's minus 1 for T less than or equal to minus C minus pi over 2. Then it's sine of T plus C for what? Between minus C minus pi over 2 and minus C plus pi over 2. And it's 1. So, uh, so this is the, this is the general solution, and, the, and here C is enough. So, for every value of C, you'll get a solution. Let's just make a quick picture, see pictures to see what the solution. And of course, there are just two stationary solutions. Okay, or x is one, or x is minus one. So, so the general solution plus two stationary solutions. Okay, so, this is the general solution, the stationary solution. Okay, let's just make a picture, or rather many pictures, just to see what what's happening here. So let's look like this. So, so there's one solution which is just if x is minus one, that's this function. So this is the p-axis, this is the x-axis. There's one solution which is just x is one. What do these solutions look like? These other solutions. Well, a typical solution of this type will start off at minus one from from uh, like negative infinity on it starts at minus one. Then at some point, suddenly it decides to start moving up, and then this part. What does this part look like? Looks like the graph of the sine function, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, if you actually continue the graph of the sine function, it would have started going down again, then up, then down. And before this, it would have started going up and down like that. And that would have that would have been the sine function graph if you had. But this this solution is actually it's constant. Then it takes part of a sine function and then it becomes it becomes constant again. What do the other solutions look like? What other values of c? Horizontal shift of the square. There will be horizontal shifts, time classes, and that's because it's an autonomous differential equation. That's what you expect in general, right? So there'll be another solution where it just starts off a little earlier. Same behavior and, and reaches one a little earlier. There will be another one where it starts off a little later. Okay. So these are all the solutions. Okay. This is a little weird because it's somehow at some point it's suddenly deciding to start going up, right? Mm -hmm. And there's no way of predicting when that will happen. So that's the, the square root is causing that weirdness. So this is not a very typical situation for mixed stationary and moving solutions are not typical. But uh, when you have radicals, this kind of thing could happen. Okay.